to the surface. Amen. Yeah. Why do you have your health and strength? Oh God, oh God. And there are young people with cancer and leukemia. Of course, wait a minute, this, this, this is going to mess with you a little bit. Why is it that we don't have AIDS? Oh, oh Jesus. Don't get mad. I'm going home Tuesday morning. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Why did God spare us? Oh, yes. Glory to God. How come he didn't get us? Uh -huh. We were out there doing our dirt. Wait a minute. Maybe, maybe it's only me. Pray for me, please. Pray for me. Because I know, had I been for the mercy and grace of God, I would not be able to stand before you today. And so, I don't need anybody to tell me to give God thanks. Yes, yes, yes. I don't need anybody to tell me to shout hallelujah. Yes, do, do, you, do you understand this people of God? That I know we've said this for years. I, I, I like to share this with folks. That we've been told and convinced that hallelujah is the highest praise. Yes. Oh, God, oh, God. And we've been told that hallelujah is the highest praise. But I mean, it's nothing wrong with shouting hallelujah. Anybody can shout hallelujah. It's the same in every language. Yes, yes. But the highest praise is obedience. There is nothing that pleases God more than when people of God walk in obedience. Yes, yes. If you want to see God smile on you, yes. You can shout out if you want to. You want to see God smile on you. Walk in obedience. Hallelujah. Uh, Hallelujah. Trust him and believe him faithfully. Yes. Do whatever it takes. Sell out. Yes. 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 Sell out. Yes. 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 And the word of God says, anything you ask for, you can have. Oh, God, yes. yes. Uh, you yet calling, he will answer. Yes. yes. And my people, which are called by my name, That's will humble right. themselves. Yes, he says it's better than sacrifice. Than sacrifice. Yes. Uh, yes. What can I, what can the enemy do to an obedient person? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. nothing. Yes. Ooh, praise the Lord. Yes, yes. Try to get me started already. Praise God. Why is it that it's so hard for us to walk in obedience? Yes. Why is it we struggle and stumble along the way? And then you wonder why you're going through what you're going through. I know this. You know, uh, in this place right now, a bunch of people are going through something. Yes. Oh, God. Yes. I like to refer to, to Matthew 5, where it talks about, we call it the Beatitudes. And you know, it goes from Matthew chapter 5 all the way through Matthew chapter 7. Yes, yes. But the really Greek root word of that word where it says, Blessed are you that mourn and, and uh, are persecuted. Uh, the scholars say that word should be blessed are you that struggle. Woo! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Woo, woo, woo. Bless are us that struggle. Uh -huh. You have a hard time sometimes getting up out of bed. Have a hard time praying. Have a hard time reading the word of God. Sometimes we just don't feel it. Oh God, oh God. Oh, pray for me. Please pray for me. Praise God. I'm just trying to be for real. Sometimes we we just don't feel like, we just don't feel like praying sometimes. Praying the Lord. Sometimes we don't want to say, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We just don't feel it sometimes. Oh, the word of God says, when we press on, we don't feel like pressing in. He said, when you've done all you can to stand. 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 Glory to God. And you keep standing. In the Greek, when it says that, when you've done all you can to stand, and this says, stand. And the Greek just says, well, you know, all you can to keep moving, keep moving. Oh, right? yes. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. That's right. <laughs> yes, Woo Jesus. I wish they were here this morning. Hallelujah. Wow. Oh, my God. My God. Well, praise the Lord. Tell your Bibles with me before you sit down. To give all honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and all those in this place today. Not you, Pastor Henry and Co-Pastor Fanny 
You're not here because you have no other place to go. Amen. You thought you'd just be a nice person today and come here to CRCF. But I believe God led you here. Yes. And he has something for you to for you to get out of this place today. Yes. So I'm believing God for that. You're, gonna, you're not, you're not going to leave like you came in. Amen. Amen. Turn your Bibles to Hebrews chapter 12. I thank God for the, the angel of this house. Both Pastor Henry and Co-Pastor Fanny and all those that have respected places. I give God praise for my wife. 47 years, I love her very much. And my spiritual children, the Alcorns, Elder and Evangelist, Evangelist Jenner, Jennifer and Elder Barry. And my companions that work their way to try to go with us everywhere we go, the Browns, Elder Cindy and Evangelist Anthony, I thank God for you guys. Amen. Amen. All of you here, we love you and we thank God for you. Hebrews 12, one verse, verse 1, mm. this is what it says. Yeah. Therefore, since we have so great a cloud of witnesses yeah. surrounding us, let us also lay aside every encumbrance mm -hmm. or weight and the sin which so easily entangles us. Yes, sir. And let us run with, with endurance or with patience the race that is set before us. All right. May the Lord bless you to the reading of his word. You may have your seats. 